Hey everyone, this is Brady with NVIDIA and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the TikTok in the house trend. If you guys are unfamiliar with this, of course, I'll put it right up here. But essentially what you're going to be doing is taking 8 to 10 images, which are eventually going to build up to an ending video clip that's about 4 to 5 seconds long, depending on how long you want it. But usually the images relate to the video. So again, you want 8 to 10 images that are going to be displayed for less than a second, all for the build up to the ending video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on a free video editor called NVIDIA. It's going to be super plug and play with a template everything is going to be there for you the link is going to be in the description for you guys to follow along and with that being said let's get started So once you guys actually have clicked on the link in the description, you're going to be greeted with this template screen. Now, you actually will have to make a free account first. It's only going to take a username, password, email, and your phone number. But once you have done that, we're ready to get started on the template. Since we are making a TikTok video, we're not going to mess with any of the dimensions here. We're just going to keep it in 9 by 16 and we're going to hit use this template. Once you actually are on the template, you want to take this time to upload your 8 to 10 images with the video clip in the end. Like I said, the build up to the video clip. You want to go ahead and do that now by hitting upload media. But once you've done that, we're ready to get into editing so you're going to be greeted with two scenes the one scene as you can see when we play this is going to be all the images and then of course the video is going to be of what the buildup is so what we're going to do to actually start working on the images is you want to click timeline on the first scene like i said these images go by very fast they're each less than a second so this is going to be the first video and you're going to see that as we drag it along it's going to transfer to the first picture so all i got to do is actually take the first picture put it in there and then i'm going to go ahead and replace them for all of them i'm going to show you this right now so for example i want my first picture to be the picture of my mouse because i am building up to me playing a video game so i just went ahead and hit replace on there and you're going to see that when i actually hit play on this it's going to have my image obviously it went by really really fast but here's my image with the slow zoom in so i'm going to go ahead to the second image put my keyboard in there now obviously when you import these you're going to know the order so you want to make sure the order lines up that's exactly what i'm doing and like you said every time you hit replace is going to go ahead and replace the image so we have our mouse then our keyboard and i'm going to do this for all 10 images so guys i went ahead and hit replace on all the images here is the finished first scene so like i said the build up to me actually playing apex and then the last video is going to be me actually dropping into a game, which again, is just going to be the replacing of the video. So I'm done with the scene one. I want to scroll over to scene two, make sure that it is selected. And then I'm going to take my video clip, go ahead and do the exact same thing, hit replace. Now you see that the current scene is actually only going to be a certain amount long. This is about four seconds long. So I'm going to go ahead and hit trim to fit the scene. That button is really, really important because if you actually let it go overextended, it will loop the audio and you obviously don't want that. You don't want the audio to loop. That's not going to make the video. So make sure it's trimmed to fit screen and then you want to hit done. This template usually requires no text or anything like that. If you guys want to add different music or do something else, there is buttons on the side here you guys can mess with, but that is essentially the style of the video. No text, just simple plug and play images and plug and play video. Just like that, you're done. Go ahead and go up to the top right, hit download and share. Click export it is going to take you to this menu where you're going to be able to see your video rendering. You can download it right here. Feel free to share your video just straight from the website. Or like I said, you can just download it and you're done. If you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful, make sure you of course like it. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Click that notification bell right up here. If you guys want to learn how to make thumb stopping videos using NVIDIA, we have a playlist of tons and tons of video tutorials on a free online video editor that's super plug and play right up here. With that being said, I'm Brady from NVIDIA and I'll catch you guys in the next video.